Uh, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Uh, very, very excited to start this info session to launch Fund 6 for AngelCon. Uh, this morning, we're going to go through a brief agenda. We're going to do introductions, um, do a program overview. Uh, we'll be open to Q&A for all the new people who are wanting to join and participate. And um, I would love for also those of you who have participated in the past, you know, feel free to jump in and add uh, comments about your experiences in the past. Um, and for those who are no one's here, that's okay. But we do have coffee and snacks. <laughs> um, great to see everyone. So we'll jump right in. Um, <clears throat> And I'm here hosting with Mitch, Mitch Emerson, who has participated in Fund 4 and 5, right, Mitch? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. This is my and third one. This is your third participation. Thank you. Yeah, sure. um, and so Mitch is here with us as our new fund manager. Um, and Mitch, do you want to introduce yourself and give sure. us a quick overview of your background and, and your experience so far? Yeah. So uh, thanks, Judy. Yeah, this is my third year doing AngelCon. Um, last year, I was the assistant fund manager. And this year, I guess, by default, I'm the fund manager. Um, my background is I graduated from Cal Poly in the 90s. Uh, then I went to work at Cisco Systems, where I did uh, development and marketing and something called a uh, competitive marketing, uh, looking at like uh, how Cisco competed in the markets and what competitors were doing. And then I moved to Juniper Networks and did corporate strategy. So I was in their mergers and acquisitions group for a while. Uh, and then I started my own software company and ran that for a few years, uh, about 10 years or so. Um, and now I uh, teach swim lessons. I work at a <laughs> club, uh, kind of a change of pace. Um, and got into uh, AngelCon a few years ago when a friend introduced me to it. And then uh, I also do uh, consulting for the SBDC for uh, helping startups with how to get their companies going, how to get funding, how to set up marketing plans, business plans, and, and how to get off the ground. That's right. So I don't know if I should share this story, but I think I'm just going to because it's sure. so funny, Mitch. Um, so Mitch is also has become our lead mentor for the incubator program for the startups that are in the core incubator program. I think most of you know that we've launched uh, incubator programs for, focused on certain industry verticals, uh, ag tech, aerospace, aeronautics, clean tech. Uh, and we have lead mentors for those, uh, but Mitch has taken on the core uh, program uh, for just the, the tech companies overall. And I was introducing uh, you to one of our new, new startups in the program called Brunch Raquel. And when she saw your email, you know, Avila Bay Club, Swim Coach, and I said, here's your new lead mentor. And so she literally answered back like, what the F? <laughs> like, who is this guy? I can't find anything about him online. And so I had to call her up and reassure her. It's like, no, trust me. Like, uh, you know, this, this guy's legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, several years. Like when I kind of uh, got out of all the technology and everything, I went through this kind of life reevaluation. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting off of all of social media, um, you know, getting off of everything and just relaxing for a while <laughs> well you did a great job because she couldn't yeah. find anything about you anywhere and she was like who is this guy why are you why is my lead mentor a swim coach uh, <laughs> so anyway that just happened uh earlier this funny. week it was really funny yeah and i told trust me you're gonna love working with mitch uh so mitch thank you so much for being our fund manager this year we really appreciate it um and so just putting the word out there, we will need an assistant fund manager. Uh, it's been super helpful in the past. Uh, we often, if the lead fund manager isn't available for whatever reason to go uh, deposit checks at the bank or to uh, check in with the startups that we've invested in, uh, it is great to have someone else jump in and uh, work together to help each other out through that process. So. If anyone is interested in being the assistant fund manager, that would be amazing. Uh, Mitch is gonna be a great lead for us. Uh, so you'll just be shadowing Mitch. Um, and then potentially if you'd like to become the fund manager next year for fund seven, 
uh, that would be an opportunity as well. So feel free to jump in and, and go for it now, or you can shoot me an email later um, if you're interested. So just real quick, there's some familiar faces. We're going to do introductions, I think, uh, on you know, with all the people who are on the call. Uh, we like to do that at the, at the start of every session so that a big piece of this is for everyone to get to know each other. We're trying to build a new network here of uh, local investors, and it's important, I think, for you to get to know each other. So Dennis, you're the first on the screen for us. Um, welcome, and uh, if you can give us a few words on your background, that'd be awesome. Yeah, hi. I am an observer here today from the West Hawaii Small Business Development Center. Uh, we heard the present, or I heard the presentation at a recent conference, and we're trying to, uh, we're talking about replicating this concept on this model in Hawaii. So I'm That's right. high on the wall. Thanks for thanks for joining us this morning, Bert. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, my battery ran low just about that instant. I had to find the power on switch down on the extension cord. Uh, this is my sixth year, so I don't know anything. I, I'm just here to watch. <laughs> Bert, um, I think most of you may have already heard this story, but uh, Bert saved me for Fund One. Uh, we were raising, our minimum is $100,000 that we like to raise to make that investment in one local startup one regional startup. And uh, on the day of the event for Fun One, uh, the event here will be in June. So we have about you know nine months until we do our big event, our big Shark Tank event. Uh, we had raised $95,000 and I was um, a little stressed. <laughs> it was either I was gonna have to write the last 5,000 myself or you know give a really disappointing uh, update to the winning startup. But Bert came and said, hey, is it too late to invest on the night of the event? And I said, no, <laughs> perfect timing. Uh, so, and Bert's been with us ever since. So thank you for being part of this, Bert. You're, you're it's so great to have you uh, with the team. So I, I need to add to my business card night and white armor saves damsels in distress. Yes, 100%. You can claim that. Yes, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll do that <laughs> next time I print cards. Okay. And then, uh, Patrick, good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Patrick. I'm a financial planner. I'm, I'm in Avila next to Bay, next to Mitch at the Bay Club down there. So it's a good, good spot. Uh, I've been, let's see, two through five. I've done funds two through five here. So... Uh, looking forward to six. And you're back. This is great. We have our, all our old timers uh, here. Yeah. This is uh, good to have you. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Mike, good morning. Morning, everybody. Uh, Mike Kwama. Um, I'm the CFO at Seslock Credit Union. Uh, moved down to the Central Coast at the beginning of 2020, right before the pandemic. So relatively new to the area, just still trying to Understand uh, the communities and the network. Really appreciate the uh, the warm welcome. Uh, this is my second uh, fund. Uh, first one was last year, and still relatively new to angel investing and learning a ton from all of you and your knowledge. And really, really appreciative. So, thank you. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Good to have you, Chris. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Chris Wayne. Uh, let's see here, where to start. So I'm a former paratrooper and combat engineer in the 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, I was uh, an executive at Verizon, uh, CIO, CTO, general manager, recently left, joined a company called A10 as the CIO and, and CISO. I've, I've um, mentored companies, I've been on boards, I've invested, and uh, find myself in a really unique uh, situation here to be able to, to give back and to, and to help. And it's glad to be here today. Great to see you. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Uh, Stacia, good morning. I think, are you able to connect? Yay, awesome. Oh, <laughs> I'm home with a sick baby today. But um, yeah, my name's Stacia. I've got uh, 20 years of experience in aerospace. Uh, currently work at Boeing doing mission operations for satellites. And this is my first time with you guys. I'm excited to join. I, 
recently graduated from uh, UCLA with an MBA and was focusing on entrepreneurship. So this was very exciting to be part of this group and learn more about this. Deisha, great, great to see you. Uh, and it, it's going to be a fun ride. So I'm glad you're with us. Yeah. Uh, and I think, is this Lee? Is this your sister? Lee, are you with us? Hi, yes, um, cousin. Cousin, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm at work, so I have a Yeah, I'm, I'll probably only be on for a short period of time, but I wanted to at least see and greet people that were here. And um, I have just individual best investor experience, um, relatively new to the area and wanted to connect to people as well as uh, the entrepreneurship that's in the area, so. Thanks for joining us again this year. And this is your second- uh, Second year, yeah. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks. Uh, let's see, we have Breton on the phone or- Breton, can you join um, with audio, Maisha? Okay, we'll jump over to Tom and circle back. Tom, good morning. Hey, good morning, everyone. Is this Tom? Can you hear me okay? Sure is. Yes, good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. Um, I'm Tom Carolan. This is my very, very first time. I know absolutely nothing, and, and I'm looking to learn as much as I can. I'm um, excited to be here, and currently I am the CEO of Digital Market Media, which is a performance marketing company, um, primarily working in the, in the financial verticals. Happy to be here. Thanks, Tom. Good to have you. Uh, back Thank to you. Bre uh, Breton, in case you're able to connect. No? Okay. Uh, Eric, good to see you. Eric Doster. I don't know if you're busy. <laughs> I'm here. Sorry, Hi. I was just trying to find the unmute button there. I'm actually uh, I'm driving in right now, so I'm audio only. But I was thinking about walking over if uh, you guys are there in person. My name is Eric. I uh, see of a company called Dazuki. Uh, we're spin out of another local company called iFixit, and uh, yeah, we actually just moved even closer to you. I don't know if you know that we're uh, we're in the Warden Building now, so right at that intersection of Garden and Hygera. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're, well, awesome. You know, we're, Basalt is, we're just uh, the second story of that building. Oh, that's great. So yeah, you're really close. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So I was a part of the last uh, year's fund as an investor and then uh, many times as an audience member uh, for um, three or four before that. Thanks for joining again this year. Uh, great to have you. And uh, there was a, a quick chat from Breton who can, uh, who's having a hard time with the unmute button. So sorry about that, but Breton, feel free, feel free to jump in anytime. Uh, if you're able to figure it out, uh, just jump right in. And uh, last but not least, Donica is on the line. Good morning. Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm Donica. I'm a corporate uh, lawyer focusing on startups. I've been working with Judy and the Hot House um, for several years. Um, I've been doing trainings for AngelCon since Fund One. I joined as an investor in Fund Three and was Fund Four manager, and originally from the Bay Area, but I'm now a Paso resident as of a year ago. So, yeah, we're excited so to be part of the next fund. Thank you, Donica. Really glad to have you uh, with us. And um, Donica also uh, takes care of all the legal paperwork for us for to set up the fund. So thank you to Vidya Law for the for that sponsorship. Uh, it's been incredibly helpful. Uh, and Donica's team manages all the all the paperwork, the filings with the Secretary of State, uh, and making sure all the investors um, are onboarded correctly into the fund. So thanks, Donica. Uh, I think Breton's back. I think I saw the audio working there for a second. No? Okay. That's okay. Uh, ah, maybe? Okay. Feel free to jump in anytime, Breton. It's uh, glad to have you here. <laughs> okay, so we'll go back to our slides so we can go over... Um, what this year is going to look like. So real real quick, for those of you who are somewhat new to the 
for those of you who are new to the process, uh, what is AngelCon? So this is us last year. Uh, these are the, the startups that presented, our top six startups. And basically what we do is for about six months, we bring in uh, speakers, we do events once a month, we bring you all together into the hot house. We're gonna try and do this in person as much as possible. So I think it's a, it's a nice way to get to know each other. Uh, we often do a no host lunch afterwards, just so we can uh, really continue to get to know each other. Uh, and the speakers come in, we'll, we'll look at all the topics that they're covering, uh, but we look at basically, you know, uh, uh, guidance, coaching, uh, mentoring, uh, sharing best practices on how to set up an investment thesis for the fund, how to negotiate deal terms for the startups, uh, how to how to pick a winning startup. Uh, what does that look like? Um, so we do all that work once a month with a speaker that we bring in from pretty much anywhere in the U.S. Um, and then come January, we will encourage startups to apply to be considered. And we will filter through all the applicants and pick our top six. Uh, we usually first pick the top 12. The top 12 come in, they pitch live. We narrow it down to the top six. And then the investor group uh, is going to be divvied up into groups of three or four to do the due diligence on each of those startups. So you'll have a good six weeks uh, to do your due diligence. And, um, and then we'll be ready for the big event in June. Uh, so the idea here is, you know, threefold. We want to get new investors involved in the capital funding process for our local region. Uh, we want to showcase with our event to the entire business community um, the innovation and tech that's coming out of the region. So that's really important to get to rally the, the whole local business community around what we're doing and so that they can see what's coming down the pipeline. Uh, and the third big outcome that we expect is to have um, uh, some, that we have been able to trigger some momentum around investing in startups. So maybe creating new angel groups locally that would continue to invest throughout the year. And that happened last year with the creation of Central Coast Ventures. Uh, Stephen Larson, one of our investors uh, in fund two through five, uh, and one of their invest um, partners in Central Coast Ventures will participate again this year. Uh, so we're gonna continue to collaborate, but he has created a new fund uh, with some members from our old, the old fund that used to exist locally uh, called Sociate Ventures and lots and lots of new members involved in that fund. So we're really excited to see Central Coast Ventures come to life. Um, they, it extends that capital funding pathway, right? So we start seeding these, these startups, we do the first sort of filtering, and then once they've gotten funded by us, 12 months from now, they'll go seek out additional funding from Central Coast Ventures. Um, so that's been an amazing outcome. Um, so on a more practical basis, how are things going to move forward here for Fund 6? Uh, so we talked about, we met with Donica. Donica is going to help us set up the fund. It's a single purpose vehicle, which means we make one investment in one, actually, or multiple startups, but we just do that one-time investment and then the fund is closed. Uh, it does stay active because we're waiting for that exit, right? So whichever company that we invested in, invested in, we're hoping that eventually, you know, five to seven years from now, they'll get acquired by another company. Uh, and that'll be our exit. That's when everyone gets the return on their investment. Um, so the fund's closed, but it's not passive. It stays alive until hopefully there's an exit. Um, we will be you know, sending out documentation. As investors, you will sign the private placement memo and um, the certificate of incorporation will be filed with the California Secretary of State. And we'll have an operating agreement in place that uh, lays out how we will vote. It's a majority vote for all decisions basically. So we keep it really simple, um, but we can go more in more detail at some point. Uh, and maybe Donica at some point uh, will bring you in to, to give an overview on the operating agreement. Uh, but we'll show those docs and everyone will have the chance to review them. Uh, so once the event has taken place, once we've made our investment in the start, the one or two startups that we want to invest in. So last year, to give you some background, was the first year we invested in two startups. 
we had raised uh, $205,000 and the uh, investment group felt that was enough to be able to divvy up the pot and support more than one startup. Um, I think we came away last year with the idea that, you know, once we've raised more than $100,000, $120,000, it makes sense to, to spread the wealth. Um, after that event, after those investments are made, there are some ongoing legal requirements. Um, we do have to pay for the franchise tax every year. It's an $800 minimum franchise tax that is due. Um, so the fund manager will be responsible for those filings working with uh, either the law firm or an, and or an accounting group locally. So we will set all that up. Um, and then we use, each unit is $6,000. 5,000 goes into the startup. The $1,000 that stays in the fund is used to make all those payments for all those admin fees. We're calling them admin fees. Um, we are going to this year, and we'll talk a bit more about this at our next session, but the idea is, We've guesstimated that we need about $10,000 in the fund to be able to cover those costs for the next you know, eight years or so. Uh, if we have more than $10,000 in the fund and if we need some um, more uh, admin fees towards supporting the event in some way, shape or form, uh, we will tap into some of that to, to make sure the event is perfect. Uh, so that's something we want to run by the, the group, but um, that we will include in the operating agreement that there is some funding there to support the admin side of, of running all that as well. Um, and then the fund manager, we negotiate every year a board observer seat on the startup that we invested in. So the fund manager is will be that observer. So if they're meeting once a quarter with their board, uh, we would have Mitch participate in that meeting once a quarter and then report back to the investment group uh, on how the how the startup is doing. A lot of the startups have, have been pretty good about doing monthly updates or quarterly updates. Uh, and we try to make sure that we share those with the entire investment group so that you know what's going on. Uh, so next slide, please. So here's a bit of a, a you know five years in review. Um, so we started in 2018. Uh, our last fund was this last April in or whenever it was <laughs> April May June I don't know. It's a bit of a blur with COVID uh, 2022. Uh, so we raised more and more funds each year. Um, we start off at 100k in 2018. We raised the same amount the next year, 120k in 2020. $145,000 in 2021 and the $205,000 last year, which is really amazing. Um, our number of investors has gone up over the years. Although as you can see for fund uh, five, we had the same number of investors as in, as in fund four, uh, but we had a lot of investors who purchased two to three units, uh, which allowed us to raise more money. So that was fantastic. Um, we're trying to keep tracking uh, as closely as we can how much additional funding is being raised by the top six companies every year. This year, uh, great news, one of the top six companies from 2018 raised 12, uh, did a Series A $12 million round of funding, which brought up our, um, our follow-on investment to $14 million in 2018 for the top six startups. So, that's an awesome accomplishment. And what's interesting is the company that just made them, that just raised the $12 million was not a winner in 2018, um, they, but they were part of the top six. So that we use this data a lot to encourage startups and let them know, hey, you might not win, but you were up there on that stage, you pitched, we got you ready to pitch, you went through pitch prep bootcamp and uh, you did meet a lot of investors beyond just our group. Uh, and here's some really cool results that come from that. Uh, so 3.5 million for 19, 1 million uh, for the companies that participated in 2020, 1.2 million for 2021, and we're still tracking what's going on for 2022. So we'll try to give you updates on that uh, by January. All of the companies have raised more money. Uh, so we'll have some good updates for you at the start of the year. Um, but it's nice to see those numbers that keep going up year over year. Uh, most of the companies are still alive and running. 
we have lost our investment in our very first company in 2018. So that company has dissolved, but that's the only one. Uh, so that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, welcome. We have a few people who have joined us uh, in the room. Sharon, Eric, good to see you. Um, so we'll keep going through the slides and then uh, we'll let you guys do your intros too to meet the rest of the group. Thank you for being here. Uh, so for 2022, oh, here are the outcomes. We had 41 startups apply. I already mentioned the 28 investors, the amount raised. Uh, we had 266 attendees at the event, so that was great. I think uh, by June of next year, we'll be able to increase the number of attendees now that we're coming out of the, the COVID drama. Um, I think we'll be able to have an even bigger event next year. Next slide. Um, so the commitment you're making, you know, I always get asked, uh, do I have to come to every session every month? No, uh, we record every session. They're all available online. You can listen to them later in your own time. So that's not a big issue. We'll make sure you always have access to the recordings. Uh, we create an investor portal. So there's a, through the landing page to AngelCon, you'll have a password to access all the documents you need, all the recordings that we've done for the year. Um, so great access to all the info that you need, info about the startups, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so there's always a way to get up to speed on your own time. Um, each investor purchases a minimum of one unit for $6,000. Any additional units purchased are $5,000 a unit. Uh, so we're only taking $1,000 in admin fees per investor, regardless of the number of units purchased. Uh, let's see. Uh, what else do we have there? So I talked about the majority vote on the decisions. Uh, if we need more money for whatever reason, uh, let's say this fund goes for 12 years. Uh, the maximum we would ever ask of any investor to, to add back into the fund to help continue manage the fund would be $4,000 per investor max. That would be unlikely to happen until, you know, seven, eight, nine years out. Um, and I'm guessing if it did, I mean, we could also assess where the startup is at. Is it worth continuing? Is it worth making that capital call? Uh, the investors could vote on that. I mean, it's a majority vote. So uh, that's definitely something we could assess as a group and, and figure out whether or not it makes sense to, to do a capital call. Talked about the commitment once a month. Uh, so it is great if people can come in person. Uh, I, I think there's some amazing relationships that um, have been created out of this. I, I know a lot, of, a lot of you have been able to network together professionally uh, and a lot of great things have come out of, of people meeting each other. We also, if there's enough people that come in person, then we'll all go grab lunch at Giuseppe's, uh, which is again, another nice way to, to uh, get to know each other a bit better. Uh, yeah, so please come if you can. Uh, we will send a follow-up email. We always do after every single session. Uh, and it, in this follow-up email, we'll have the recording of the session that you can share with whoever you want. Uh, and also the investor application link. So we need that you guys to fill out the application just so we have your exact names, how you're investing in the fund, how many units you want to purchase, all the proper contact information. Um, so after this session, please complete the, the application. Any questions so far? I'm sorry, I've been, I've been monologuing. <laughs> but please feel free to jump in with questions at any time. Even though we are doing a, a Q and A after this, but okay, I'll keep going. Here's our training schedule. So we are starting now. Uh, thanks, Chris. <laughs> uh, and here are all the topics we're covering over the next six months, uh, nine months. Uh, we'll talk about our investment thesis and how to review a, a pitch deck in November. Uh, we'll look at the startup financials in December. What do they look like? What should we expect from them? How do they tie the milestones that, they're, that the startups are trying to accomplish? January, we have a great session on uh, cap tables, term sheets. Uh, that's when we're really starting to dig into what does this investment look like? What am I committing to as an investor? Uh, and February, that's when 
we do hope to have more as much involvement as possible from our investors so that we can start the due diligence process. And that's where you're going to really dig into those top six startups and figure out, um, you know, uh, meet the founders, go to their workplace, uh, meet their team, look at all their contracts, look at all their corporate docs, uh, look at, you know, what are they manufacturing? Um, does it work? <laughs> so we do expect some hands-on uh, participation at that time. So that'll be in February. Uh, then in March, we have a session on bridge financing on, uh, we'll actually cover safe docs, convertible promissory notes, price rounds. What does all that mean? You know, what is our investment going to look like in our winning startup? And we'll vote for our top 12 companies. Um, yeah, I think that's right. And then in April, we yeah, okay, sorry. And in April, uh, we vote for our top six. So sorry, the due diligence piece I was just talking about, that's the training. That's teaching you how to do due diligence. But the actual diligence that I was talking about starts in May. Yeah, sorry, I got that. Uh, but our event is on June 1st. So please mark your calendars, reserve that day, big, big day. Um, so it gives us plenty of time to do due diligence. Next slide, please. Thank you. Uh, so we'll send the application form. Please fill it out after this session or over the weekend. Um, on October 12th, we do coffee and conversation every month. So this is a separate program that we do through the SBDC. But uh, if you'd like to come to this one, we encourage you to come. It starts at 8.30. Uh, you can log in. It is hybrid as well. And our winners from this year from Fund 5 will be here in person to uh, give us an update on where they're at and what's going on. So we'll have Novica founders, um, Amy and Donald participating and uh, Acre Cloud um, founders, co-founders, Jim and Elias. Uh, so that'll be a great session. Uh, it'll be good to hear where they're at. And our first investor meeting where we're going to actually talk about our um, an overview on angel investing will be October 28th uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, and I think that's it. So ready for questions. Feel free to jump in. No question. So I'm going to send this. Sharon, come up here so people can see you. <laughs> I think you're, or oh, just throw this, but then like, well, no one will see you. <laughs> yes. Hi. It's the mic. <laughs> um, oh, what do you want? So who are you? Uh, how many times have you participated? Okay. What's your experience been like? Um, I'm Sharon. I've been in slow for, this is my third year, I guess. So, um, I feel like one year I was like very involved doing like a diligence lead. And then another one, like less so, but I feel like also that I had something to do with like, well, one won and one didn't. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been a great experience to also like get to know other, um, and lo local investors I think the educational content like I need to hear certain things probably like a million times so I always appreciate that um and then my background's marketing um consulting stuff but then now for the last several years I've just been managing um a family portfolio of assets with my siblings so we do some funds and things like that but also some direct deals as they pop up so this definitely helps um you know the education process Thank you. Thanks for being here. <laughs> um, looping back to Brenton, I don't know if, so Eric, do you want to come say hi, Eric, so they can see you? You were on the call, but you want to just put a face to your name? Oh, go on. <laughs> it's not awkward. Here's Eric. Uh, so that you, you know, everyone can actually see there's real people investing in this fund. I thought she was handing her an award of some sort. So I was just like, what is this thing? This is the weirdest mic I've ever seen. It's so, it's so that I can uh, throw it to you. Oh, this is not a mic. This is just a prop. Okay. No, no, it, it is a mic. It is a mic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, I'm Eric. This is my face. I was in the car driving in. Um, 
yeah, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm a CEO of a company. It's about 70 people. We're literally just a block over. We used to be up in the B of A building downsized because we have at least space wise, because we just have no need for that big of a space. And it's, it's been really nice and cozy. That's right. Um, we took, uh, for Dizuki, we took investment from a private equity firm last September. So, uh, we went from, we went from being a, uh, kind of founder led, you know, bootstrap company, not really any, uh, outside investment, took a small note from a strategic to now a very, you know, investment firm kind of backed company with a, a lot of different structure and, and sure. obvious change to that. So it's been a fun journey, but I've, uh, was, Part of uh, the the Jilden squad with uh, Sharon last last fun. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, we did not get to try the alcohol sense. Our our uh, the, the team where we were diligencing was a blood alcohol sensor. You know, trying to replace like the one you wear on your your ankle. And so we were joking about we got to really stress test this. Uh, <laughs> we never got a chance to. Thanks, thanks, Eric. Nice. Thank you very much. Um, so back to opening it up to questions. So it looks like we have about, you know, 15 or so investors on board at this point in time that are, I, I feel, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm not making any wrong assumptions are, are committed. Uh, I know we have a lot of people who are not here in person who do want to participate. I talked to Jeff um, Erasmopos yesterday, last night at an event, he's joining, uh, but will be more passive. Uh, Russ Nash and his brother are joining, but they want to be somewhat passive. So it's interesting, actually, this year we're getting, this is actually the first year where we're getting, I feel more investors who just want to support what we're doing. They love what we're doing. They come to our event, um, but they just want to be passively involved, which is great. It's, it's awesome. Um, so that puts us maybe at 18 or so. So as you know, 20 is our minimum. So invite your friends, uh, your colleagues. Uh, the more people we train locally, the better. Uh, so I'll I just want to put that out there. So that's kind of our call to action for today. If you know of anyone else who'd like to participate, uh, we would love to have them on board. If we could get more than 28 investors this year, that would be amazing. Uh, and I know for a fact that we have some really really cool startups in the pipeline. Um, yeah, uh, we have some new companies in the incubator program that are really interesting. Um, and also we have just obtained a, um, the ARPA grant that we've been vying to get for the last 12 months. It's finally come in, that's $1.2 million for us. And it's to support um, these new verticals that we're launching in aerospace, clean tech, uh, ag tech. And we've hired Lori Jordan, who is going to work really closely, her and I are working very closely together. I'm sharing this to, to explain to you the pipeline that's going to be coming our way. Uh, my goal is to have an MOU in place with, with as many tech stars, white combinators, accelerators throughout the US um, to, for them to send their startups to our program. Now that we run the incubator program virtually, there's so much potential. And um, you know, these accelerators are great. They last 12 weeks, but then what? Uh, so we can either prep startups that weren't ready for the accelerator, the Y Combinator, the tech stars. We can prep them for two years and get them ready to apply. Uh, or once they're done with that program, they can join our program and we can keep supporting them for two years. So it's just a win-win. Um, actually, we just had a negotiation class this week. I was told not to use that term. <laughs> there is no win-win. It's about, um, what's it about? I need to go look at my notes. <laughs> but uh, no, we're definitely trying to um, take the pipeline to the next level. So I feel pretty confident that we're going to see some really, really interesting applicants this year. Judy, when uh, there's a new applicant, or someone we want to introduce, uh, are we? An investor or a startup? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Uh, send you an email. Yes. Yep. And I can chat. We can go grab coffee, wine, whatever. Yes. A hundred percent available. Yeah. Uh, and if anyone wants to join me on any of these, you know, coffees, wines, uh, to bring new people on board, uh, the more the merrier. Yeah. My answer would change depending on the topic. Okay. <laughs> With a preference, uh, okay, okay, wine it is. 
Um, so here's our contact. We do use the angel conference, uh, at Gmail. It makes it, it helps streamline all the requests. Um, our website for the angel con landing page. Uh, and this is Peter holding the camera on the picture and we invested in tally four through fund four, uh, and they're doing amazing. So I think this, that was a really great investment for, for us. Um, I'm gonna be really interested to see where that goes. Yeah. Any questions in the chat? No, we're good. Anyone want to jump in? Okay, I hope you can all make it, or as many of you as possible can make it um, to our in next session in person. It'd be great to see you all. Uh, thank you for being here this morning. Invite your friends, family, colleagues, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Good to see everyone. Thank you. Thanks for being here this morning. <laughs>